the changing fortunes in Deal or No Deal. Twenty-two boxes, quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. You can tell by the atmosphere. We, we're pumped up. We've had some very, very good games. And we had, I thought, a wonderful game yesterday. We're Rob from Liverpool. And we always say we want people to come out and play the game and make the most of the big opportunity. And it is their game. And they bring lucky tokens and uh, photographs. And there is a danger about personalising the game. And it cost Rob a lot of money yesterday. I don't know whether you spotted this. But uh, he went over there to his youngest daughter's birthday number and it had the quarter of a million and it really knocked him it was just like all his confidence went and he actually dealt at 10,000 because he kept looking at the family picture and he didn't want to let them down so just be a bit careful with this personalizing of the game here come the names let's choose one <laughs> You be coming out here with a suitcase of memorabilia? Claire? Have you been a cocktail waitress or something before coming out like that? <laughs> that frightens me. The that thought you could drop time. your box. I, that is a nightmare I have. Drop the box, falls open, and we... Oh, we're in terrible <laughs> trouble. Claire O'Callaghan from London, a midwife. Yep. How long have you been midwifing? For six years. Six years? Yep. How did you get into doing that then? Um, uh, mainly through my mum, really. Um, I knew I wanted to do something within the caring profession. And I actually did a nursing placement um, that completely put me off nursing. Um, so I thought, okay, let's go with my mum and see see what she thinks of midwifery. So I, um, I went and did a midwifery placement and that was it. Knew that it was the job for me and it's been the best thing ever. You keep looking here, so obviously <laughs> this is mum, is it? This is my mummy and daddy, yes. Do they have names? They do. This is Lorraine and this is Tony. Right. And with you is clearly somebody who's not so important then. <laughs> <laughs> he comes a close second. <laughs> all right. And who's he? Simon. Yeah? Hi, Simon. Hi, now you're right. Yeah, how long have you two been together? We've been together nearly three years. Three years. Yeah. You are aware she wants six kids. <laughs> yeah. I've got my work cut out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need some serious funds, don't you, we if do. you're going to be running six of them? We do. Mm -hmm. What else do we need to know about you? Um, oh, you're hoping he's going to propose. <laughs> you're told not allowed to say that. <laughs> says it here. She wants to get married to Simon. Before, before he has my babies, kids, you see. And he's very excited since he's hinted he might propose at some point. But I've told him if I win the big one, he's not allowed to propose because then he'd just be a gold digger. <laughs> well... Should we do it as the game progresses? So if we keep the quarter of a million in towards the climax of the game, should we get a quick proposal in? Yeah. 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 That, is, that is a heartwarming sight. Everyone except you. <laughs> no, 
what that means now. I'm going to have to win the confetti because I'm probably not going to get any from Simon too soon. Yes, the <laughs> confetti proposal and confetti. <laughs> Righty ho, are you happy to start your game? Yes, I am. Uh, I need you, please, to confirm you chose box eight at random before the game began. I did. Sealed by our independent adjudicator, who seals all of these boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. So, um, do you have a system? I have a system for my first round. Do you? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ronnie is still a bit poorly, so poor old Ryan. He's been worked to a complete <laughs> frazzle. Uh, he'll be opening 12, so just treat that as a normal thing. And Claire! This is going to be wonderful, isn't it? You're going to win a quarter of a million pounds. The game will end with confetti. And we'll have seen Simon down on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, this could be my perfect romantic game. Good luck, Claire. Good luck. Thank you. As I've mentioned before, three is my That's number. Your, yes, your number. Away we go. Yeah. Good luck, Claire. You're lovely. Okay, one of those opening yep. rounds, fair enough. Okay, Andy. Please. No problem. Let's make air blue for you, Claire. You're absolutely superb. Not bad. Not bad. I ignore them when they go in. They don't understand. <laughs> Next door neighbours, number 13. I like this number, it's going to be lucky for you. Clear blue. as well. Yes. And Hull is a lovely place, isn't it's it? It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> it's the sort of place that makes you want to jump up and down and clap your hands. <laughs> it sure is. Go on then. <laughs> Good to have you with us, Dan. Thank you. Away you go. Good luck. Ah. Oh, that is a real shame. Oh, that's a very Sorry, big shame. Big is still there. 100,000, yeah, the big one's still there. And there are all of our superstitions gone, aren't they? Yeah. So, where's the very best place to start? Peter number one. You're a lovely lady, mate. I hope this is blue. In the opening round, we've lost two of the power five. That is bad luck. That really is bad luck. Keep smiling, keep smiling. The super biggie is still there. The wedding's still on! Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, I'll be single by the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> now he's got a fixed smile on his face as well. Hello, Becca! <laughs> <laughs> he says over the years he's been trying as hard as he can to put the look of fear into the eyes of players but he's never succeeded quite as well as the look of fear <laughs> in Simon's eyes when the word proposal was mentioned. Claire's here. I bet you've been looking forward to this game. You think she's been very impressive in the wings. But yeah, very good example yesterday, actually. He was very impressed with the fact that um, you didn't just say, oh, he's playing mind games. You actually evaluated and uh, described the mind game that he was playing, didn't you? Did. It was very good. It was the old snakes and ladders things, and you came out with a thing about the ladder. That was a yeah, smart cookie. Yeah, I see. That was dumb as I look. His concern is you could be the sort of lady to believe in destiny. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly right. And you could be just the sort of player that he is very frightened of. And that's a player who thinks what will be, will be. The opening offer is £6,000. Six grand for box eight. Is that bad? That's not bad. Oh, it's, oh, 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 hang on. <laughs> hang on, look, there's some holes here. <laughs> Come on, you took the 100,050. And, well, if the 20 is taken in isolation, it's not bad news. But along with the other two, that was a damaging opening round. Six thousand pounds. He believes that you are here to seize the day. I am. Yeah. You can ask me the question. Six thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. that he will propose to Claire if she wins quarter of a million. <laughs> right? Okay. One more. Here, actually, finding one P. Nice, wasn't it? Yeah, that balances up very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hello. Hey, it was an excellent round for Claire. What's giving you a sore head? Ah, how successful the game's becoming. Oh, he's going to make an excellent offer. Simon, you're on. Thousand pounds. That's a very good offer. And having said that, you can oh, she's there already. Eleven thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Believe, believe, believe. Okay. Angela, number nine, please. Well, you're a midwife and this is doctor's orders. <laughs> so let's hope it's lucky. <laughs> So it's going to have to be Carl next. It comes a pair. <laughs> okay, it's got to be you, Carl. Claire, you're such a beautiful, sexy lady. <laughs> I'm going to miss your... Yes. 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 Yes.
You're going to miss, remember, it's yeah. the afternoon. Oh, yeah. You're going to miss what, Carl? Oh. A beautiful, infectious laugh. Ah, <laughs> splendid. <laughs> Right, you can have a cuddle anyway. <laughs> um, sorry, that's right, I picked the box. Still strong board. Well, you've, you've just got to recalibrate. Recalibrate and regard it as a 75,000. Ronnie, well, it's been a bit poorly the last few days, but we're hoping you'll be back with us very soon. Thank you, Ryan. Good luck, Claire. What a horrible round. Oh, my word. God, the atmosphere here's changed a bit, hasn't it? Thank you for that. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, it's just amazing how fast that turned around. He says it's going to be difficult to keep your game strong from now. I know you believe in destiny. So he doesn't believe he can make you take this offer. Free will, make sure you use it. 3,000. <laughs> well, there's a lot of point in groaning at that. That was, uh, that was a horrible round. Claire, as quickly as the game turns one way, it can turn the other way and go back in your favour in the next round quite easily. I've got some big dreams now. Yeah, I've got some little dreams for me. I've got even bigger dreams for these guys, and it's not going to get me there with three grand. I think that's the question. Okay. Three thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Hoping for a very smiley girl <laughs> that this is exactly what you want. Three thousand. Not all together convincing, not bad. I'm quite happy with that, so I've got them three big ones. Okay, well, you definitely need two blues. Number five, please. Please give us the first of two blues, please. It's a blue for you, Kate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mummy. Number seven, please. She said she'd got big dreams. Big dreams for your parents? Yeah. Who else? My sister. And your sister. So you need big money to make your own wishes come true, but to help your family. We need another blue. Michelle, blue please. After the break. <laughs> Five thousand will give you the freedom you want. Certainly would. Okay. Uh, I think the whole seal is still on Michelle's box, but do you want to go there? Yep. All right. Do. We are with you, and it's well, full four is what we want. Thank you. 
It's all or nothing now. Oh, what a disappointment. Come on. It's not over, Claire. It's definitely not over. I always do things the hard way. Do you? Hello? Yeah, one blow will finish it off. He's going, he's going. See, her problem is... She took the uh, 35, but also she took two others in the middle of the board. She didn't take anything off the board. OK, I'll pass that on. Thank you. OK, uh, you were at three, and he's saying, look, this offer is almost certainly the most money that you are going to take out of this game. Right. He really, really would like now to do a deal with you at £2,750. You've got good support. Well, that 75 could have your name on it. Um, I'm a great believer in you know, supporting you and trusting you, whatever you want to do. But equally, that board is quite vulnerable, as I see it. And you should think very carefully about what you want to do. Do you want something? Yeah. yeah. £750. Deal or no deal? No deal. Charmaine, open box 15, please. Claire, I hope this is a blue for you. Don't celebrate too soon. You've still got two to go. Bird number two, please. Come on, a lot on this one, Bert, Bert. Pull the seal on it, first of all, Bert. All the bees. There's a lot on this. And this is a very different game if the next one is blue. Sorry, Flo. It's horrible being the one that has to open it, isn't it? Number 14, please. I want you to be 100% certain that this is the box you want to wear. Because if it's blue, we're in a totally different place. A far, far more positive space. Are yeah. You sure? Yeah. Big box for a flow. Give us that blue we're looking for. Try my best. Yeah, 
Yeah, you should feel better. <laughs> you should feel a lot better. Deal's done it again. Another twist, another turnaround. Hello? Um, would it be right in thinking, Simon, that you were quite uh, keen for her to take 2,750? I'm, if Claire's like the, the bubbly character and, and the one who sort of shoots for the stars, I'm the one that kind of grounds her a little bit and is just more... Sensible. Sensible, yeah. <laughs> if she had listened to you, you would have denied her a valuation now of £10,000. <laughs> Actually, at this point in the game, a very clever offer. Whenever the offer is on the board, somehow it gives you an extra little element to think about. £10,000. You could leave now with £10,000. You could still win £10,000. You could, of course, have all those magnificent dreams that you've got for other people, as well as yourselves, come true with £75,000. Let's just explore a little bit more this thing about what will be, will be. You could frighten the banker. If he thought you really were going to go all the way and open this box. If, if I'm here today and I'm, and I'm meant to walk away with 10p, then that's a plan that God's got for my life and there'll, there'll be a reason for that. Right, OK. But equally, if he wants me to have 75, he's put it in my box. <laughs> all right, well, OK. Um, is that faith? Is that confidence in the what will be will be or destiny now going to carry you all the way to the end? Claire. Sorry, no. Ten grand, we say it most games, like when a, a decent offer, and that is a respectable offer, comes knocking, and that is hard cash, that is real money that you can take away. Now, I respect the attitude you have, and this is, again, me with my grounding influence. But I'm here, and I just feel that I should get that across, because I'll only regret it if I don't say it. Are you, are you ready for the question? Oh. Remember Craig's game? As soon as he dealt, he took the big one out. All the games that I've seen since you've been here think about that. Are you ready? Yeah, ready as I'm ever going to be. £10,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. I really want this to work out for you and I want it to work out for him as well because he's gone through a lot in this game. Uh, he's gone through a lot of ribbing. This is the really crucial part of the game. You're fighting between gameplay and actually a very powerful belief. I hope you've made the right decision. Number six, Holly, please. Don't be sad. <laughs> Holly, will you please... Open box number six. <laughs> you said earlier you do things the hard way. You're doing this the dangerous way. Now it really is absolutely all or nothing. Open box 21, please, Freddie. I really hope, I really hope it's a blue. You are going to 
going to remember this move honestly for the rest of your life. Which way are you going? 16, handy please. You're going left? Yeah. The ideal is the pound. Andy, pull the seal on box 16, please. Andy, put your hands on the side of the lid. Lift it. Oh my word. All right, come on, come on, come on. We're going to focus on this because uh, you're, you're oh. going to have, if you think that last decision was a tricky one, uh, this I think is going to be very tricky. Hello. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. He says, he says you proved you've not just got courage, you've got courage in your convictions. plan of attack. <laughs> the one thing he believes in. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> the big persuader. <laughs> the boss. £26,000. <laughs> There are three figures in your life, £750, £26,000 and £75,000. Which is the most attractive to take home? But hey, wouldn't it be exciting to carry your faith all the way through to the last box? <laughs> yeah, there's no way around it, that's what I believe, I really, really do. Are you ready for the answer? <laughs> Twenty-six thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? I'm brave, I'm not stupid, she says. <laughs> OK, here we go then. Here we go. Well, we know what we want to see, but this is going to be a fascinating revelation in terms of the power of your faith. Quite how you are going to reconcile this result, I don't know, but it's for you and your faith. This is what you brought to the table. Could you please complete this amazing game? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> so, uh, where does this leave you? You've got uh, a chance to fulfil dreams for your family, for other people, hopefully for yourself. Um, and does Simon fit into any of this? Into a little bit of it. <laughs> 
future holds. I wish you a lot of happiness. <laughs> Thank you. Together. £26,000. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, we have had the most amazing contrast in these games, and every single one has had some personal elemental twist to it, which is just sensational. This is one of our fabulous weeks ever. Don't miss tomorrow. It's going to be another crack up, I know it. See you then. Indies young and single, but when is the baby of the family going to think about marriage? Nine o'clock tonight's a good start.